Phil Hellmuth made his grand entrance to the 2022 World Series of Poker main event looking like he got his Darth Vader costume from Wish.com, or the shot that Patty's Pop Poker players in attendance greeted him with a chorus of boos. Professional poker player Matt Glantz managed to pull the $1 million secret mystery bounty at this year's WSOP. Oh, baby! Oh, Glantz, with $7.5 in live earnings, delivered a brutal beat to Justin Lett, winning with pocket tens versus pocket jacks to pocket the cool million-dollar bonus. Glantz then tweeted that as a consolation, he gave $5,000 to Justin for the bad beat. Justin's results show he only has $35,000 in caches, and many feel that Matt didn't go far enough awarding half of 1% for the bad beat that netted him a cool million-dollar payday, while others feel Matt didn't have an obligation to give Justin anything. Professional nap taker and part-time poker player Daniel Negranu has a controversial past, including the use of blackface. Mm. Dexter, is there anyone out there on the circuit that has any game? Maybe one Y. One Y may think about Scotty Naganuyan. That's, That's right, bro. That you call's gonna be all over, baby. <laughs> now Daniel faces serious charges of racially motivated hate crimes, including verbal and physical assault. What's your fucking name? Who? Having a blood alcohol level of 0.23, Daniel begins to accuse all Asians of looking alike. Asian guy. Asian guy. Let's They're all the same person. Daniel's longtime friend Josh Arie tries to intervene to calm the situation, but popular Asian Canadian vlogger Greg Goes All In quickly gets wind of Daniel's racist remarks and confronts him. Daniel quickly resorts to violence, assaulting multiple partygoers in a whirlwind attack that left many bruised and battered and suffering from long-term emotional scars. After knocking down Greg, Daniel turns his sights on a nearby innocent Asian male who is beaten and then slapped and completely humiliated in front of a stunned crowd of onlookers. You don't think I'm violent, buddy? No. Nobody's no. safe. I'm just a fucking woman. This is why women are supposed to talk about it. 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 Women are supposed to talk and was also subjected to assault by this monster. After assaulting partygoers, Daniel refused to slow down, letting attendees know he was only just getting started. Right? I'm gonna keep drinking as you can tell. Even those in Daniel's inner circle aren't safe from his wrath, as he forces his cameraman to show off a horrible eye injury Daniel inflicted upon him. Never one to admit his mistakes, Daniel again turns to the Asian community to blame for his actions. I said you're the craziest part here because I know what I'm talking about. It is you. You're the bad influence, okay? Before Daniel could harm another attendee, a hero emerged in Boston Rob, who confronted the drunken lout and laid him flat. One can only hope that Daniel gets the help he needs to combat this crippling alcohol addiction. Noticeably absent from the event was Daniel's wife, Amanda. One can only wonder what his significant other was up to. I'll like make any adjustment for her. Did Phil Helmuth deserve to be booed? Should Matt Glantz have given more than half of 1% to the player responsible for him winning the 1 million bounty? And what can be done to stop the raging monster Daniel Negreanu has become? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. You know, after watching a video like this, sometimes I'll like it, sometimes I'll leave a comment, and sometimes I'll subscribe. Sometimes I'll even do all three. 